let's imagine that uh, we all uh, had one big, huge hit uh, on our venture that we came to you with, and now we've got our pockets full of cash, and we've decided that we be want to become angel investors. What would we do to become good angel investors? It certainly doesn't just require the ability to write a check. Uh, what are the skills that are needed? And if I wanted to do it, you know, what would you teach me? Well, hopefully build a Rolodex where, or have a Rolodex. Have a Rolodex or build a Rolodex that when the entrepreneur needs engineering help, you know where to direct that entrepreneur to find engineering help. You know, where to find business development help, uh, where to find recruiters. Uh, we just developed a whole roster of preferred service firms that we share with all of our entrepreneurs. Um, having those resources and knowing who to call is what's crucial. So if I was starting to angel invest, I would figure out, I'd pick a market segment, just one market segment, and say, you know, I want to go invest in five video companies. I'm going to get really good at video so I can help each of these entrepreneurs develop a good video product. So uh, I, would, I would invest in an area where I had some expertise, where I could add value. Interesting. So again, it's all about the network. Well, and I, and I found it was really open, and I mean, I, I owe Ron a huge debt of gratitude for this. I remember taking you to the Oasis one time when we first met, and I just said, look, I just want to get involved in investing in startups, and I'll help any way I can. Just give me a chance. And so uh, it turned out I was excited about a company called Dig, and Ron was meeting with him, and he said, well, why don't you just come with me? And so just a, an incredible gesture. Um, and, and after that, I didn't really... I tried not to be just a taker. I, after that, I introduced Ron to um, Rock U and Aggregate Knowledge. And so the way I looked at it was um, I was just going to try to help any way I could, add value any way I could. I wasn't going to go in and say, hey, let me in in the club or any of that stuff. It was more, hey, just give me a chance, uh, just one chance to add value, right? And, and so um, I, I found that it's an incredibly open group of people and as long as they think you're not just a free rider trying to leech off of everything, that people want to work together. We're all sort of on the same team fighting the same fights. You know, as long as you add value. I mean, Mike immediately started adding value at DIG. So Kevin Rose started to say, hey, that's a great guy you introduced me to. You know, it is about adding tangible value after you write the check. 